Hi, in this video, I want to show you how you can set up your Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus for the first time. So, before you begin, you need to uh, print the SIM card. If you want to use the phone straight away making calls, then you need to have uh, a SIM card. There are two slots here, one for the SIM card and one is for the SD card. So, put in the SIM card right here. Then, on the other slot, if you have an SD card, you can uh, put it in here as well. Make sure the um, metal contact is uh, facing downwards and then simply uh, slide it in and then push it all down now press and hold to the power button on the side to uh, switch on the phone just wait for a couple of seconds for the phone to boot up Okay, so you will be introduced with a high data screen or the start. So tap on the start button. Now there is a drop down, you can select your language. So go through the list and select the language of your choice. Now I will go through the list here so you can see what language is available. And that's it. So that's uh, all the language available on this device here. And then tap on OK. And then tap on the next button. Or the start button and here you can uh, select to uh, connect to a Wi-Fi so I'm going to try to connect to my Wi-Fi and then uh, tap on the connect button so now Wi-Fi is connected we can proceed to the next step tap on next at the bottom and then you can uh, tap on I have read and agree to all of the above then tap on agree at the bottom to go to the next screen and it's uh, just checking for updates so uh, because we have already connected to the Wi-Fi it will attempt to connect to the internet to perform a check so I so say couldn't sign in so just gonna tap on the back key and then tap on agreed and then it will try again So again, it has the problems. So I tap on the grade again. So it could be a Wi-Fi issue if it couldn't connect to a server, then we might have a problems. So I'm just going to turn off Wi-Fi for now. Then if you uh, have that problems, and then tap on next, then tap on the grade. So I'm just using 4G, just in case uh, my Wi-Fi have a connection problems. So they're using my 4G. I can uh, connect, and from here, so you can uh, sign into the Google account if you got one. If you haven't got one, you can uh, create one, or you can just simply uh, skip. So you can tap on uh, create account uh, to create a new. Google account. If you don't have one, you can always skip and then um, later you can go back in and, and sign in. So tap on skip and then skip. Yeah, so just wait and then here you can put in your name. And then tap on next. So at this uh, point, you can uh, protect your phone by setting up some security feature. So you can set up uh, intelligent scan, face recognition, iris scan which is uh, scanning your eye. Uh, you can use the fingerprint scanner, so the fingerprint scanner is at the back here. So you can use it as well. And you can also set up a pin pattern or password or you can simply uh, set up no security at all. So it's your choice. Uh, I just choose no for now and then tap on skip. And then tap on skip anyway. And here it's got Google services. So you so you can choose uh, what you want to use, if you want to use location services or not. You can turn it on or off, uh, device maintenance, and install an update. So you can uh, 
choose that and then tap on agreed to go to the next screen so I say review additional apps here and you can go down the list and select the one that you want or deselect the one that you don't want and tap on OK so it's just um, finalizing the setup so here at this point you can also want if you want you can sign into the Samsung account or you can simply skip it by signing into the Samsung account you will immediately uh, lock your phone to your account so that if you lose your, your phone you can use um, find my mobile services to find and locate your phone and you can do a lot of other things as well as well once you uh, sign in so if you want to sign in tap on the sign in button like this and then put in your account if you already got one just use uh, the old account that you have so I'm just going to put it in So I'll put in the uh, account name and password and then I tap on done and hopefully this will sign me in. Okay so tap on I agree to all and then tap on agreed and now it's attempting to sign in. So here it's uh, say that you can uh, take a photo if you wanted to. So tapping, tapping on the camera icon allows you to take a photo of yourself and then tap on the next button. And Ash, do you want to restore from the Samsung Cloud because we have signed in? So, uh, if we have some data from the cloud, uh, for example, if, say if you got some information from the old device, such as the Galaxy S7 or S6 or S8, you can import it into the, this device. You can also follow using the smart switch to import data, or you can simply just choose Don't Restore. We want to start fresh, and then tap on Next button. And then it has some other uh, useful features that you can look at. And then tap on finished. Okay, so all done. So you see your phone is ready for use. So after doing all that, we finally have been able to get to the, the main screen, the home screen. And from here you can tap on the dial pad to start making calls. There's a lot of uh, notifications at the top. I'll turn on the Wi-Fi back on. So when we swipe down, it's a um, we can uh, transfer data from SD card and uh, it's trying to complete the setup from the Google Play Store and some other thing as well. So that's basically how you can set up your device uh, initially to um, get to the home screen only. And uh, if you want, you need to uh, add in your email account. Uh, download Facebook apps and other apps that you want to use and a bunch of other things you still need to do if you want to use uh, some additional features on your phone. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.